So, hi, my name is Sylvia Casas, and I am the urban planning lead for the Regional Layer Platform Project. I'm going to switch things now from the resident involvement to the planner's job and show you two of our applications that can streamline your urban planning workflows. One would be business analyst, and the other one would be RGS urban. To be realistic on the level of experience that a planner can have when using these applications, I'm going to share a secret with you. All right, so the secret I wanted to share with you is that I am an expert on RGS Urban, but I am a total newbie on business analysts. So you'll see how easy it is to actually get data from it and um, start using it. So let's get to it. So what you're seeing here right now is business analyst homepage. Business analyst is a web application that helps users make um, smarter and more informed decisions when evaluating a site. Uh, when you're targeting an audience or to better analyze the market. Here you have uh, the main page and you can see the projects that are down here. So projects are a way of organizing your data, your analysis and reports and, and enable you to share them with uh, the public. In addition to the home, we have maps and this is where you will do most of your analysis and start bringing data. And then we also have reports which are, you, you saw some of the reports that, uh, or the infographics that Maddie showed in Hub uh, that were actually coming directly from some uh, data produced and reports produced here in Business Analyst. Um, the other thing that Business Analyst has done, and I think it's uh, very useful in a fun way to uh, get familiarized with the application is these guided tours. So you can actually open them up and go task by task or activity and start learning the application. And as you do this, you can point and earn badges uh, when you complete one of these activities. So let's get into uh, creating uh, some maps and some reports. So first of all, I'm going to define an area and I'm going to do it by a geographic uh, unit. So I'm going to search Fullerton. And of course, there is more than one Fullerton, so I'm going to pick the one in California and click next. So now my area has been defined and I have several things that I can do in this area. So let's create some infographics. This is retrieving information that it's already on, on business analyst and pulling this one pager where you can see uh, a lot of the variables or things that are happening in the city and also see its geographic location. So let's dig a little bit into the median household income. I can actually open up and see the distribution of income and percentages and the comparison to the county uh, information. This uh, uh, template is fully customizable. You can change the colors, your icons, uh, the information that goes in it, and you can also share it, uh, export it and share it uh, with the rest of uh, the city or your organization. In addition to finding where we're going to be doing some work, I can also create some maps. And let's start with a color-coded map. So another great thing about Business Analyst is that it provides a lot of data and information. There are several categories that have been um, added to uh, Business Analyst, and there are about 1,500 variables that you can uh, pull from these categories that we have here. But this doesn't mean that you cannot use data that you have already created. So anything that SCAG uh, shares for the region can also be added into these maps uh, for whatever purposes you uh, want to tackle or use them for. So I'm going to actually use income here and I'm going to pick some data that S3 has created for the 2020 average household income. Once I retrieve it, I can see over in my cart here that one is showing the 2020 data, but I can easily switch to a projection for 2025. So uh, this is a fast way to switch between years of data. Another great thing is that you can switch between geographic units for, for your analysis. So I could go up and aggregate data to a zip code and you'll see larger um, areas and the uh, incomes get also aggregated in them or I can go back to the granularity of a block group, which is what I want to do. You can also change the style of your uh, map. So maybe I don't wanna see the 
uh, boundaries colorized, but I want to see color and sizes. So now in a second, you'll see that uh, each income has been represented as a dot. And I can also control my max and means and see uh, where they fall in the histogram of the entire data. So in addition to this, I can also see the information by block group and the actually average household income that um, applies to each one of them. The last thing would be that this data can be exported to an Excel file if you want to uh, use it for any other purposes. And I can also share it as a separate map that I can consume later on in ArcGIS Error. So here I have uh, several options we can uh, publish to story maps or PDFs, but what I want to do is uh, send it over to a web map so I can later on consume it. So I'm going to skip this step because I've actually done it already. And now I'm going to switch to ArcGIS Error. 